I'll look and when I'm re-editing it later, I'm like, oh my gosh, she looked at it so many times after <laughs> I told her not to. I'll try not to. Okay. I guess it's time. Nope. My phone won't work. 202. Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Queen Koopa. And I'm Amy Lou. And this is Why We Cosplay? Yes, I yes. believe so. <laughs> um, any questions? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we can start with um, questions first, and then we can go in more detail, like why we cosplay. Is that okay with you guys? Alright, any questions? <laughs> How long have you guys been cosplaying? I'm in my fifth year. I'm in my fourth year, I believe. Yeah. I still can't believe it's like been four years almost. <laughs> yeah. No way, just fit you. Mm -hmm. It's like a lot longer than that. Yeah, um, Comic Conway 2013 was my first. Lady Loki. Yeah. Yeah. That was before the Koopa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bowser. City, right? Yeah, Bowser was actually the third costume that I made. I don't know if I've seen that one in person. Oh, well, he is retired. I don't know if you guys <laughs> have seen it. There he is. Um, it's like a full body mascot suit and it is hot in that thing. <laughs> it doesn't really breathe fire, that's um, <laughs> editing, but... That'd be so cool though. Yeah. It is my, um, on the five year anniversary that I made him, which is coming up like next year, I really want to redo it just to see um, like how I've improved. Add a point over to the mouth. We'll see, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she'll be able to go in the con then if she yeah. has that. My original plan for him, which is what I would kind of still like to do if I redo it, is um, the like Bowser copter that he's in. It's like got a clown face on it. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but instead of like doing legs and stuff, I wanted to be sitting in one of those things. Nice. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> well, what was your first husband? Harley Quinn. Um. I went to um, Stockton Con because I used to live in California and it was my first con and I was like okay I have to make a costume and my friend's like why don't you do Harley? I was like okay I'll do that. It was two tank tops sewn together. I had her diamonds in the front and I did before I dyed my hair because I have purple hair right now I had my natural hair which is brown so I had that and little pigtails and I had red and black pants on and I believe I had black shoes on, but I was still nervous, so I was at the con. Mm -hmm. But I met a lot of cool cosplayers there. I met um, Ivy Doom Kitty there, oh. and she was so sweet when I told her, like, yeah, this is my first con, mm -hmm. this is my first cosplay. And when I met her, she was dressed in her Harley. Oh. I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> but since then, I've done, I think, one other Harley. But now that costume doesn't fit me no more. But my goal is to bring another Harley this year, but if not, two versions next year. Because I have to bring her back. I think that was the, the first time I met you, I think it was your first Harley costume. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was at ACA. You were like one of the first cosplay friends that I made. Yeah. Like I was so nervous still. I didn't know anybody, especially at the anime con. You were in Belle, weren't mm -hmm. you? Yep. Yeah. My first interview on YouTube was this girl. Yep. <laughs> it's been a long way. Mm -hmm. I just think, yeah, ACA was my first con in Arkansas. So that con means a lot to me, and I have to go every year now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They've really grown. They have. I like um, where it is now. I can't remember the hotel. I think it's the Marriott. Mm -hmm. But, the yeah, I like it a lot. I actually stayed in the hotel this year, so it was a, little, a lot easier for me because almost every day I changed into three different costumes. <laughs> I was like, okay, I got this, I can do this. <laughs> Running back to my room, my dad's watching TV, he's like, you having fun? I'm like, yep, yep, I'm having fun. <laughs> changed my makeup real fast, changed my outfit, I'm like, bye, see ya. <laughs> he's like, bye. I'm like, yeah, bye. <laughs> Not so much a question though, I just want to say. My very first cosplay was Bethel. Oh, yeah. Would not have happened if you didn't. 
It was my first commission, actually. Oh, nice. Uh, it's like a big polar bear head. Uh, is it is it still together? It's like still together. It, honestly, right now, it, I haven't dressed with them in a while, but it, last time I checked the tail, they're still all holding together. Awesome. And those new gloves are even, even better than uh, the second pair you made. Awesome. That was nice. a couple years ago. Three, three four? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we've never done my first cosplay. We've been able to make that amazing bear head. Yay. <laughs> Glad it worked out. What made you guys want to get into cosplay? Um, I I went to Otakon back in 2006, and that is a huge con in like Maryland. I don't know if you're familiar, but um, I really didn't understand it while I was there. Like I saw the costumes, but I didn't realize that it was something that people did regularly. Um, and then. Comic Conway rolled around and I was wanting to do Lady Loki for a Halloween costume and it was like two weeks apart so I thought I'll just try to make it for both of them and then I was hooked after the first time. I agree with that. <laughs> My story though is a little bit funny. I never heard of co cosplay at all until high school. I think my junior or senior year my friend was looking up I thought, I'm a huge fan of Naruto, so she was looking up all these cosplayers, but me being me, I was like, oh my god, are they making a live action? She's like, no, they're <laughs> cosplaying. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then she explained it, and then I always had written ideas down, because I wasn't allowed to until I moved out, because mm -hmm. my biological dad, he didn't understand it, but when it came to Halloween, I always had to make a costume. I love going more gory, mostly, though. And that he's okay with, but with the cosplaying, he's like, no, I don't think you do that at all. I'm like, okay. And then I moved out, lived with my friends. I'm like, okay, we're going to go to this con. We have two months. I'm like, awesome, I can't wait. And then after the first con, I was hooked. Mm -hmm. I was like, I have to do this. And since then, I've made a few different costumes. Mm -hmm. This last year and this year, I started making my own, and then I'll do buy some costumes. The ones I'm like, I can't make that. No, I'm not going to try. But it's very, very addicting. Mm -hmm. You make a lot of friends that way, too. Because yes. you see people dressed in like the same genre as you or from the same game or movie. And uh, it's really easy to go and fangirl. <laughs> I'll warn someone first. Like, I'm sorry, I'm about to fangirl. But, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You look amazing. <laughs> Do you have any um, advice for starters in making costumes or branching out or doing anything like that? I say, um, I actually just told my friend this because she's a drama teacher now. She just graduated college and she asked me advice too. I told her, sign up for whatever craft stores near you, like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or Joann's. Say, look for their coupons because I was able to buy 10 yards of fabric for only $1.99 a yard. Always look for their coupons. And even if you're following some cosplayers on social media, they'll post this ads too, and always look for them. And if you want to make a costume, but if you have a while, or you don't have a lot of money, just buy your pieces separate. Just buy them one at a time. And it might take a bit, but you'll have all of it coming together. And whatever you can work on, just work on it. But try not to get in con crunch. <laughs> That's one of the number one advice ever. Try not to get in con crunch. <laughs> I know. I was telling my friend that earlier. I'm like, we always say. You can all you want. I'm going to four more and finish my costume. Same. I slept for two hours last night. I sadly cannot make a costume for this con because of my knee. So I was like, I'm just going to wear whatever I have. But then I realized I left my foam head at home, so I couldn't brush it away. So I'm on my bed brushing it. I'm like, I want to sleep. I want to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, okay, now I can go to bed. And I'm like, oh, look, I got con crunching. <laughs> um, I watch a ton of YouTube tutorials until, like, I'll watch them do the same thing over and over until I feel like I'm ready to try it. Um, I try to learn something new on each costume. Um, the helmet was definitely this one. Um, 
fiberglass and Bondo, which I was always super intimidated by, but it really wasn't that bad. And I find that with a lot of the stuff that I learn, like I'm always really intimidated to uh, start something I haven't dried before, but um, it usually works out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do have like a pile of stuff in the corner of my craft room of like failed stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I understand but, that, mm -hmm. I do too. But after I fail once, I feel like I'm ready to get it right the second time, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> um, just lots of tutorials. She makes a lot of tutorials. Yeah, I make some tutorials <laughs> for my YouTube. Mm -hmm. But another thing that's really good too, I started doing this, I um, bought a fashion designer sketchbook, so it actually has the figures in the book and the face and the feet. Ooh. Try to sketch out your costume and then write on the side like what you need, how much you need, and if you're wanting to like sew and everything, always double check the measures just in case. I think I cut sleeves three times because I was always off like one or two inches. I'm like, okay, I really gotta stop doing this. <laughs> mm -hmm. They even have apps and stuff now, don't they? Um, they have Cost Planner. Mm -hmm. It's really good. You can also use it online too. But I, I used it at first, but I always forget to go back into it and like mark what I need done. But now I have um, a notebook you can do, or even like the notepad app on your phone. Just write down what you have to get done. Say like your cons like two week, like two months ahead. Try to work on a piece each night, depending on how many pieces your costume has. This is um, <laughs> from like two weeks ago. I was trying to get a rough draft of my Magneto in my notepad app, so, like, I, I think it's pretty close. If you're able to do that on your phone, yeah, I would do that. That's actually really smart. Like, it was, uh, like, it came with a stylus, like, I probably could have done better on paper, but, uh, yeah, just having a reference image, um, really helps a lot, and patterns, like, I was intimidated to start sewing, but it's really not that bad. It's kind of just like a puzzle. Um, like you just line up the pieces and send it through. <laughs> I'm just starting to sew more and with this dress I was sewing uh, until 6 a.m. but I sewed um, the bottom part inside out twice. I'm like okay I really gotta stop doing this and then I finally got it the third time I'm like yes and I'm, push I'm pushing you to the side to stay away from me right now. <laughs> But like I was saying earlier about the coupons, Joanne's does amazing sales and Hobby Lobby on patterns. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a dollar each for certain ones. Usually on the holidays, yeah. um, they'll put either Simplicity or McCall's for like a buck each and I'll just go blow like 30 bucks. And I'll buy anything that looks cosplay related or that I think I might ever need. And now I have way too many patterns. <laughs> but I'm no, ready. That's, that's one thing I've noticed recently with mine. Mm -hmm. I'm like. Oh, wow, I, I own a lot of patterns. Mm -hmm. What happened? It's like no matter where I'm looking in my craft room, I find a bag of patterns. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can check um, eBay too, because some sellers will sell like the older patterns, but they're sometimes cheaper. And I found some patterns that I'm going to get for future costumes because they have the perfect shape for them all. But I think the McCall costumes, like you're saying, those have helped me so much because most of the outfits I need are based on those patterns, so they help a lot. Mm -hmm. They're now um, putting out specifically cosplay mm -hmm. patterns, which they didn't have that a couple years ago. There are armor patterns out now too. Yeah, I haven't I haven't gotten it yet. Like I look at Joanne's every time I'm there, but I haven't seen it yet. She uh, Jackie Craft just put out a, a like a breastplate tutorial pattern. <laughs> I'm going to have to look for that one before I start my armor. Yeah. That might actually help me a lot. Mm -hmm. I find, like, even not just sewing, but um, armor, anything, having a pattern helps so much. Uh, like, this started out as Pepicura, which is like um, somebody else made a pattern, and you just print it and cut it out and then glue it together, and then you have to do a whole lot after that. But just having that starting point that I don't have to spend hours um, doing it myself, it's really helped. Oh, yeah. yeah I think that's why David made his bait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was actually really fun. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the inside, but 
um, like this one started out as just like a whole bunch of strips so that it would be round when it was done. Um, but they have it on not just helmets, like you can find it on a lot of stuff, weapons, um, and it's free. You just got to download like the, the program and you can also make your own using the program. So it's pretty cool. I would say weapons are my favorite part to make. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's our weapon expert. <laughs> <laughs> so another good place they can always try is a, it's called the RPF. Mm -hmm. It's a massive, massive group of people that are dedicated to making props, costumes, all sorts of stuff. And mm -hmm. they'll, they'll talk about their costumes. There's another website I found that's really good and it kind of gives you an idea of what you need to get. It's called costumewall.com and it's got like so many characters. You look up your character and it'll have websites where you can go buy the stuff you need. Or gives you, you know, basically gives you an idea of what you need for the costume. Mm -hmm. You still use a uh, balsa wood, like uh, pine. Pine, yeah. okay. It's it's sturdy, it's cheap. Mm -hmm. I would just say the number one place to find materials you need for costumes, Goodwill. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh my Goodwill. God, Goodwill. Some yeah. of the cosplayers I follow that are professional cosplayers, um, a couple of their newer outfits were actually bed sheets. Mm hmm. And uh, they look like fab, actually, like, like the really, really expensive fabric. And I asked her, I'm like, where'd you get that fabric? What, what's that one called? She's like, oh, it's just a bed sheet from Goodwill. I'm like, okay, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty lucky. Like, I, our, I'm, I'm down in Pine Bluff, and I hardly ever find anything good at our Goodwill. Like, I, uh, I have better luck in Little Rock. Ah, uh, I live mm. in the middle of nowhere. Mm. It's hard for me. I had to go to Popper Bluff to go to a Goodwill, mm -hmm. and it's horrible. <laughs> We're actually in Los Alamos. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you guys got a Goodwill down there? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Walmart, we don't. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, um, I got the lining fabric for this at Walmart. Um, every once in a while, they'll have some good stuff. Like, I always check their clearance stuff while I'm there. But that's mostly for linings. Stuff oh, yeah. like that. My um, I'm working on Kiki from Kiki Slivery Service. Um, her fabric is actually from Walmart. It was only a dollar ninety nine a yard, mm -hmm. and it's really nice fabric. I'm like, okay, I need to shop at Walmart more. Mm -hmm. Yes, cosplay can become a very expensive hobby. It can, but if you look for coupons, look for the sales, mm -hmm. and look everywhere first, it can be cheap on certain costumes. I think for some costumes, I will go straight to eBay first, depending on how far my con is. If it's a few months ahead, I'll like I'll go to eBay first, look for um, costume pieces I can modify, and I don't care how long I have to wait. I'm like, okay, I can wait for this item to come in, and then I go, I wait for the sales, like she was saying. Mm -hmm. But as long as you write everything down, and get like a base price point, you'll be good. I think only twice I went over my price limit. I it was only because I messed budget. up on the fabric <laughs> and that's what it gets me. Mm -hmm. I always accidentally never buy enough stuff or um, I just keep having to make trips to Walmart. <laughs> like I went like 5 a.m on Friday morning because my husband needed the car for work later and I had to get googly eyes for all my rivets. <laughs> so oh, can I can hear it. You. I can beat you. <laughs> yeah. For Holocon, um, our friend Jade, she was doing Hades, the female version, and at the time we were only able to get Halloween wigs. We went to seven different Walmarts <laughs> to find the wigs she needed and I'm in the back sleep, almost falling asleep. I'm like, Okay, are we here? All right, let's go to this Walmart. <laughs> and I'm like, I look around, I'm like, you're making me scared. My wigs are gone. Because I needed two green wigs for my Oogie Boogie. I'm like, they better not be gone. Those were Walmart wigs? Yeah, they're two um, cheap Walmart wigs sewn together. And if you have a wig that's shiny, I know this one is a little bit, um, you could use baby powder or just use translucent powder and just powder each layer and it will look more natural. Hmm. Some people say um, soak it in fabric softener, 
but I don't really like that because I hate the smell half the time. But I think just combing it through using the translucent powder, it helps so much. And if you get long wigs, make sure you braid them if you put them up. Mm. I forgot to a couple times. I need to do that. My wigs are a mess. I get oh, like same. three wear wears out of them and then I just have a couple of them I need to wash too. I just don't like styling wigs and stuff. Like this is straight out of the bag. And once it's too knotted to wear, I'll probably buy another that, one. <laughs> I did that for Jackie at the con and then I didn't realize how thin it was. And I'm like, oh man, I should have wore this wig before the con. I have a big head too. So like it's hard to get on, even to get it to stay on. <laughs> oh, I will say this though, because I know some cosplayers will tell you go straight to Arda or Epic, is it Epic Cosplay Wigs? I think so. Mm -hmm. Or... Um, fairy tale Wigs. Yeah, fairy tale Wigs. Those are expensive. Amazon eBay Wigs. They're mm -hmm. perfectly fine. If you want more volume in them, you can just buy two cheap ones and sew them together. Or if you want, you can actually glue the wefts into the wig. It might take a little bit longer, but it will help so much more. And then you save a little bit more money, actually, than buying the really expensive wigs. Mm -hmm. I think I have all my wigs. I own one Arda, and that's only for Snow White. I was like, this is the perfect cut, perfect curls. Just saved up for that one. I'm like, okay, I'm good. But if you want to try Arda in them, always look at their sales. But make sure you order their wigs at least two months in advance, because sometimes they're always out of stock. Mm -hmm. So you usually have to wait till the beginning of the next month for them to actually ship it out to you. I've never bought one of their wigs. Yeah, Snow is one of theirs, and I'm like, this is so nice. But then I bought an eBay wig, and it felt the same yeah. softness. <laughs> I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. okay, I'm sick of eBay again. Or uh, another website you can actually try is Wig is Fashion. I just got a new wig from them, and it's actually really, really soft, and it was half the price of an Arda wig. I was like, okay, this is good. Hmm. Yes? Are there Really good wig stores in Little Rock. That mm. I don't know. You? I'm not sure. I get all mine off Amazon. I paid eleven dollars for this one, and it was. Uh, I'm in a free uh, Prime trial, so I got it in two days. But <laughs> um, I use. I try to use Amazon um, for all of them. I I don't know about Little Rock. I'm not sure. I don't live in Little Rock. I live in um, Success. So it's three hours away from here. I find that like most of the wig stores that I find are like natural wigs. So if I wanted something like this or like a weird color, um, I'd have much better luck on the internet, I think. But depending on what color you need, if you need more natural, you can look it up. But if you need colorful like ours, you have to try eBay or Amazon. But it's depending on what you need though. Oh, I will say for the ponytail clip ones, Make sure to always braid those. Mm. Trust me. So I'm gonna have to start braiding my wigs. No, I have to um, wash and brush out my Jackie Frost wig, the brand new one, because it got messed up. Mm. I'm like, oh man. Do you have to use a special brush? Um, I don't. No. I use a regular brush. People will tell you you need to use fine um, tooth combs for them, mm -hmm. or um, actual wig brushes. I just use a normal brush. It's fine. You can try the fancier brushes if you want but I'm like no nope, I'm just gonna use my regular brush I knew that they made like a, a wig brush mm -hmm. I didn't know if it was necessary or not I don't think it really is I will say though invest in the foam heads for your wigs mm -hmm. those help so much you can even get um, free boxes from Build-A-Bear oh so I need to do that so That's, much. I, I went up there and they looked at me weird, but they just gave them to me. And I was like, okay, thanks. Is there yeah. one around here? Uh, there's in a park plaza. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the Sweet. thing with me, yeah. though, I'd probably go in there and end up actually buying something. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, no, no, I'll carry him. Just yeah. give me the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gave me like three or four of them. They just gave them to me. I was like, okay, thanks. Hmm. Like you mentioned those rivets are uh, googly eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, what's some of the other, and that's a big thing with cosplay, sometimes you work with what you have. Yeah. Uh, what's some of the more like unique uh, repurposing of what I've you know, done in your cosplay? Besides Google, yeah. Yeah. 
if you have anything. Um, I can't really think of anything. I just use like um, regular paper mache before I switch to paper mache clay, and then. Uh, mm. Um, I don't know if you know what bias tape is, but I use that stuff for everything. It, um, well, nothing on this one, but, oh. uh, do you have some? Yeah. It, uh, use it on the edges, like it's already folded in half, mm -hmm. so, um, instead of, like, having to hem your dress or whatever, you can just sew the bias tape on, and I've used it for, um, hoop skirt channels, um, boning for, like, corsets. Like, I just sew a strip of it in my corset and slide the piece in. Like, I use that stuff for everything. Oh, I really like using um, heat and bond. Ooh, That's what I used for mm -hmm. my spots, because I was like, I'm not sewing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if you need, like, a custom, like, patches or anything, you could make your own using. It's, like, two-sided um, iron-on, kind of. Um, I use that a lot on Princess Peach. I like it. It's only... Depending on what size you get, I think I spent three dollars on one packet, and it was a large sheet. I got made 188 spots on one sheet. Mm. Yeah. That was fun to do. Yeah. <laughs> Trace them all, and then cut them all, and then iron them all. Like, I'm never doing this again, but I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm remaking the dress, so I can do it all over again. You should see if you can get like a strong paper punch or something. Amazon has one of the Martha Stewart things. Uh -huh. You can just slide your stuff in. I might have to get one because <laughs> I think it's like 10 bucks for the punch. Yeah, I might need to get one because that would help a lot with this and I'm a huge stationery freak. So I'm just like, okay, I can add this to my collection. <laughs> yeah. they, they cosplay, I scrapbook. So. Yeah. <laughs>